Hi everyone, um, before tonight's episode of SmackDown, I just wanted to come on here and say a few words. Um, I was planning on attending tonight's SmackDown, but unfortunately with the last minute flight options, it wasn't really possible to get me there in time before the show ended. Um, so I wanted to come on here and just talk about Wyndham a little bit and what tonight means. And first I wanted to say, you know, I'm sending out so much love and thoughts to Wyndham's entire family. You know, we are all here for you and we are so sorry for your loss. Mm -hmm. um, I know tonight's Smackdown is going to be a celebration of Wyndham and the Bray Wyatt character and everything Wyndham has done in his life and career in WWE. So I'm gonna try to keep this as positive as I can. Um, Wyndham is an incredible person who we have all loved for years and he is just so friendly and lights up a room and is so creative. Mm. He's a creative genius right. who brought us all the amazing gift of Bray Wyatt for the last so many years. And I think the character of Bray Wyatt that Wyndham has given us has been incredible and has been so fascinating to see and has brought us all so much joy to watch. And, you know, working with Wyndham was just so, it was magic. It was magic because being able to watch him in his creative element and be able to work with him really, you know, expanded my creativity and being able to just watch him work and work beside him was just truly, truly an honor. And it, I still say to this day was the most fun I've ever had in my entire career in WWE. And I, I am so thankful that he allowed me and trusted me to come in and be a small part of his vision and his creativity. And unfortunately now there is a huge void in our world and in the WWE universe that um, no one will ever be able to fill. For real. Because Wyndham was so special and everything he brought to us was so special. And I think we should all be so grateful for that. Mm -hmm. um, his creative genius of the Wyatt family and the Fiend and the Firefly Funhouse has really um, opened up all of our minds and opened our eyes to a whole nother world in our industry that none of us could have ever thought imaginable. And I just want to say, Wyndham, you know, you've, you've brought so much joy to everyone around you and to the millions who've loved watching you week after week and loved watching your journey and just see your creative genius unfold. Um, we will continue to celebrate your life, your legacy, and the amazing human you are. And we will continue to light up the sky with fireflies. Beautiful. And we all love you, Wyndham. For real. That was, she said um, some beautiful things right there. Alexa Bliss did great work with Bray Wyatt, the Fiend character. And, um, you know, I'm still in shock. I, th I think a lot of us are in shock. I was someone that mm -hmm. was a fan before he was even on TV as Bray Wyatt. I seen this character at a dark match. Didn't know who the heck he was. And he shows up. I'm in upstate New York at a, a house show. We did Seth Rollins reaction and um, a few people were saying, check out Alexa Bliss's. And um, it's just, it's heartbreaking, man. When you see these people that worked with him and we as fans just loved Bray Wyatt. I mean, and you know, Seth and Alexa and, and the whole WWE talent for the most part, right? We we watch them week after week, and um, it's just really upsetting. Uh, the most, what's really upsetting to me, and I mentioned it during the Seth video, is the fact that, um, by the way, that was not <laughs> Alexa's cats going to war. If you heard that, <laughs> that was my cats. They are, they're going crazy right now. I apologize, but um, yeah, I mean, you know, it saddens me the, to think that. 
he has two kids and he's no longer here for them. Being a father of three kids, I couldn't imagine not being there for my children. So it just, um, it's heartbreaking. That's the most heartbreaking thing about this whole thing. It's not that for me, it's not that I can't watch Bray Wyatt or whatever character he's playing, well, Wyndham and whatever character he's playing. It's heartbreaking that he's got kids, he's got a family and he was taken way too soon at the age of 36. Um, absolutely just, it's, it's tough to think about that. And um, we gotta appreciate life because it could be just taken so quickly. So call a loved one today, you know, maybe call a loved one that you haven't spoken to a while, in, in a while, excuse me. Um, but we can't take life for granted and not just our own, but the people around us. So let's try to spread more love and um, appreciate life more than ever. 36 is super young. Two children from my understanding. Man, my thoughts and prayers to his family. And um, if there's any other people you'd like me to react to, recommendations, just um, let me know in the comments. Once again, rest in peace to the great Wyndham Rotunda, also known as Bray Wyatt, also known as The Fiend. What's your favorite matches from Bray Wyatt? We did a video also where it was me first reacting to it. I was literally about to go live and then I heard the news and I went live and we had a few people up with us live and we spoke about our favorite matches. Um, I loved the Wyatt versus The Shield. I loved the John Cena stuff. Uh, man, Daniel Bryan, watch that video. It was really great, all right? Thank you for tuning in. We do wrestling content and much more. A lot of interviews, a lot of one-on-one -on -one interviews. So check out this channel if you're new here and uh, rest in peace. Thank you for everything you have put out there for us to um, just um, enjoy throughout the years. Rest in peace, Bray Wyatt, Wyndham Rotunda. I think someone's at the door, guys. I'll be right back. Hey boss, I'll take care of that for you. Marcy, Marcy, please! That's from the ring. Thank you. Look, that's from the ring, baby. Look, it's sticky. You want this? You guys had fun? Yeah.